Hi, everyone, welcome to my channel again. Today, I am going to share about basic concept of simple linear regression, which is an important concept in statistics and data science. Before watching, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Your support will encourage me to produce more videos related to statistic, Lean Six Sigma and Operation Management. What is Regression Analysis? Regression analysis is the modeling of the relationship between a response variable and a set of explanatory variables. The basic idea of regression analysis is to obtain a model for the functional relationship between a response variable, often referred to as the dependent variable, and one or more explanatory variables often referred to as the independent variables. Why evaluate these relationships? 1. To describe the relationship between the variables. We know very little about the variables and how they relate to each other. For example, engineer wants to understand the relationship between product reliability and oven temperature. 2. Control the value of variable. We want to set the value of one variable to control the value of another. For example, a manufacturer of copper alloys can set the concentration of copper to control the strength of its alloys. 3. Make predictions. When we know that two variables are related, we can make a prediction about one variable based on values of the other variable. For example, financial officer wants to predict the cash flow based on raw material costs. What is simple linear regression? Simple regression examines the relationship between a continuous response variable y and an explanatory variable x. The general equation for a simple regression model is below. y is response variable. Theta sub 0 is intercept. Theta sub 1 is slope. X is explanatory variable. Epsilon is random error. We frequently encounter numeric variables that seem to be related. For example, financial officers must predict future cash flows based on specified values of interest rates. Let's look at an example. What is the relationship between cost and manufacturing volume in a factory? When we believe one variable may influence another variable, we need to think about which variable is explaining the other. This will help us determine which variable to plot on which axis. The production volume may affect the total cost, but the total cost does not affect the production volume. In other words, the production volume helps to explain or predict the total cost. Therefore, Production volume is called the explanatory variable or independent variable. We typically plot the explanatory variable on the horizontal axis. Alternatively, we can say that the total cost changes based in the production volume. Therefore, total cost is called the response variable or dependent variable. The response is the variable we want to explain or understand. The response variable always goes on the vertical axis. Interpretation of the intercept. The intercept represents the predicted value of the response variable y if the explanatory variable x is zero. The interpretation may be nonsensical since it is often not reasonable for the explanatory variable to be zero. If zero is not in the given sample x range then the intercept cannot be interpreted because zero is outside of the sample range. Interpretation of the slope. The slope represents the predicted change in the response variable y. Given a one unit increase in the explanatory variable x. If the coefficient is negative, as the term increases, the mean value of the response decreases. If the coefficient is positive, as the term increases, the mean value of the response increases. Interpretation of the error. The error term includes the effects of all other factors, known or unknown. 
For example, one way to predict the gas mileage of various new cars which is the dependent variable based on their curb weight, the independent variable would be to assign each car to a different driver. What unpredictable and ignored factors might contribute to prediction error? Unpredictable random factors in this study would include the driving habits and skills of the drivers, the type of driving done, city versus highway, and the number of stoplights encountered. Factors that would be ignored in a regression analysis of mileage and weight would include engine size and type of transmission, manual versus automatic. There will be a series of videos for regression analysis. Remember to subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out my next videos. Bye, see you next time.